All right, so today in this video, I'm actually showing you guys the best NVIDIA app settings to boost FPS in any game to fix any issues that you guys have. Download link will be in the description if you guys don't have it. And let's get into the video. All right, so first thing we're actually going to do is search up NVIDIA. Now, once this is open, we're going to go straight to graphics, okay? You guys should see all your games here. So if you guys are on Roblox, all you guys want to do is literally just click optimize. It's going to be optimizing at the bottom. And then for the quality, all you guys actually want to do is put it all the way down to the performance wait for that to load and it should be good now down here there's not really much graphic settings for roblox so like low latency mode you guys want to put this to ultra image scaling off max frame rate you guys can turn this on if you guys want and power management prefer maximum performance resync off for legacy settings the, i guess you guys could put your quality for high performance as i did here make sure you guys click show legacy settings and you guys want to see texture filtering quality put that on high performance like the sample optimization now i have mine on you guys can actually turn this off texture filtering negative lod we can turn this we can just keep this on allow on default texture trill nail optimization we can just can turn this off if you guys want so yeah you guys can basically turn all these off you guys can keep this option on it doesn't really do much now before we get on with the rest of the video are you guys tired of having light ping spikes in any game now here's this one software called exit light that is actually going to fix it now listen exit light has real-time optimization it has traffic shaper it has multi-internet and it has fps boost now let's open it up now this is actually what it looks like when it's opened up got our home connections library we got pc boost multi-internet traffic shaper general settings if you guys are ready to optimize you guys want to just click add here and then you guys want to search up the game you guys want let's say for fortnite as example now for fortnite we have a lot more settings now what you guys can actually do you guys can actually go way all the way down to performance and click optimize now what this is actually going to do is just going to fully optimize it for you so you guys can get the lowest performance possible okay now as you guys can see the in-game settings everything is already low and it already made our driver settings low if you go to show legacy settings once again make sure you guys actually go check out my nvidia control panel settings video so you guys can actually have these settings automatically on every single game for valorant normally you guys want to just literally do the same thing that we just kind of did put performance click optimize and click update it's gonna do every single thing on its own okay all the in-game settings will do it on its own so what we're actually gonna go do down now we're gonna go to low latency mode we're gonna actually turn this on to ultra max frame rate you guys can this is personal preference power management mode we're gonna put this to prefer maximum performance v-sync we're gonna have that off show ladies show legacy settings we're gonna go to texture filter and quality make sure this is on high performance again okay so it's kind of like a rinse and repeat type thing you guys want to make sure you guys have the same settings enabled for each game okay now next thing we can actually go do is go to our global settings now these are just going to be our main driver settings overall so what we can actually do here low latency mode we can enable that to ultra max frame rate that is personal preference so we don't really need to touch that or anything power management i like to have mine prefer maximum performance you guys can have optimal power or you guys can have adaptive but i kind of prefer maximum performance uh vulcan or open gl preset you guys can keep these on auto this one open up show legacy settings once again now we're going to go all the way down to texture filtering make sure it's on high High performance so it's always on the same thing after that we're going to go to system over here we're going to go to performance and now we're going to actually turn on automatic tuning now this is literally going to automatically overclock your gpu for you just so you guys do not mess anything up and the nvidia app is really good for this i actually did mine I actually did mine two weeks ago and basically what it does you can actually do it manually here it actually lets you move it around yourself so yeah i really highly recommend you guys go check this out go all overclock your gpu so your gpu can work to its maximum power without breaking them now if you guys actually go back and go to video you guys can disable hdr that will be a good one if you guys do have an rdx gp and for displays if we go to our displays properties we can actually go down to display properties right here turn our refresh rate up or down and you guys can change the orientation of it the scaling all of your settings is right here guys okay everything but yeah guys that is basically going to wrap up today's video i hope you guys really did enjoy today's video and the best NVIDIA app settings. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, peace, peace.